Hey, everybody, this is Marcus King at Mad Ox Games and Comics in London, Kentucky. We're getting ready to go with a, uh, with a new live sale. Uh, Jason and I are here. We're getting some stuff going. This is going to be laid back. Just laid back. I don't want you to share nothing. I don't need you to do nothing. Just hang out. I'm going to put some stuff up for sale. If you like it, give me the letter. You can see everything here is uh, letterized. I'm going to put some stuff out here. This is uh, this is Stranger Things, and it is from Funko. It's collectible four-inch figures. This one has Will, Dustin, and Demogorgon. I'm going to come around close to you. Will, Dustin, and Dem Demogorgon right there, as you can see. I only got one set. This one right here is the best one. stuff out at good prices, uh, mostly really good prices, so that should help some. Oh, Colin's on in England. What's up, Colin? What's up, Colin? Robert's Robert on Casterline Booth, he says. Here's an Oath of the Gate Watch fat pack. These sell in our store for $50. I'm going to put this one right here for $29 if you want it. It's letter E. This is uh, 10 random comics for 10 bucks. I'm putting this over here in A. If you want 10 comics for 10 bucks, claim A. This is uh, The Walking Dead Graphic Novel Volume 5. Uh, we just happen to be overstocked on this one. It's normally 15 bucks. I'm going to just go ahead and sell it for 9 Yeah, that's 40% off. Put it out for nine bucks. It's brand new, not used. Doesn't smell like smoke from some smoker's house or something. <laughs> brand new, perfect condition. I got a toy here. I'm gonna pull it out of the bag. This is a this is a small action figure from Lord of the Rings. Uh, but I'm gonna pull it out of the bag and set it up so you can see it. See, I'm literally opening the package right now. This is a. Uh, I guess this is Sam. I don't like Sam much. I'm not sure if it's Sam or not either. Oh, it's Pippin. I don't like Pippin either. Look, I don't like hobbits. You know, hobbits? I don't like hobbits. What? What's? Uh, what throws you Pippin. off? What throws you off there? Well, they're stupid. They're stupid. <laughs> yeah. So there's Pippin. I mean, <laughs> hobbits are stupid. Uh, I, I was watching uh, The Simpsons this last week, and they did a like a Game of Thrones medieval fantasy type episode. And uh, they eat. They just hard. ate hobbits. Chopped them up and ate them. Chopped them up and ate, yeah. ate them. Well, that's about how I feel about hobbits. Nope, not Tosh, Robert. As you can tell by uh, a little more bass in my voice, this is Jason. That's Jason, Robert. Tosh is. Uh, he's Tosh is in the hospital still. We're gonna sell that hobbit there, not the diapers, not the diaper wipes, but the uh, the hobbit for six bucks. Just came out of the package, brand new. I've got this uh, Mopies. This is a Funko Mopies. It's a plush Funko. <laughs> it doesn't actually make noise. This is Leela from, uh, you know, what's that show? Funk uh, Futurama. Yep. Leela from Futurama. Uh, she's twelve bucks. Twelve dollars for Leela. Uh, Rob Hanrat and one of his wa Walking Dead is on. I'm just gonna put them out for uh, ten though instead. That is the Walking Dead graphic novel volume five, normally fifteen bucks. We put it out for nine. I'm gonna mark Leela from uh, twelve ninety nine down to ten bucks. That's a good deal. Again, if you want something, claim it by the letter. Police, police. This is Walking Dead number one nineteen. Uh, normally ten dollars. I'm just gonna put that out for five right now. We're just doing a little bit of a Walking Dead for nine with Rob Hanrod Jr. What what no, what letter is that, Rob? Can you give me a letter, please? I know we got them priced, but from back here I can't see anything. Uh, unless you said B. Hobbit. B. Oh, excellent. Thank you. There we go. Get that one out to you here very soon. I got some cool stuff I'm going to show off here in a little bit. I don't know if I want to sell any of it. Or not. Hey, this is a uh, hunt. This is a uh, Grim Fairy Tale Hunters. 
just going to recycle some price tags. So Grim Fairy Tales from Xenoscope, uh, Hunters, The Shadowlands, number five, cover B. Two bucks. Again, claim it as B. Ten books for ten bucks? A. Leela plus C. Ten bucks. Pippin the Hobbit. H is Pippin the Hobbit. Uh, six bucks or whatever I marked it. Hey, here's a brand new comic. This is the Defenders, number six. It is part one. Now with added Deadpool, it says. I'm going to put that out for four bucks. Four bucks. Now I'm going to wait until we have a spot up top ready. I'm going to put some more stuff out bottom. Hey, here is a Batman. This is pretty cool. Uh, we normally sell these at seven bucks. I'm going to mark this one down to six. This one will be fun. Batman keychain pop. I'm going to bring it out there and show it to y'all. Batman keychain pop for you. Here's the hood of the Batman. Here's the keychain with the Batman on it. It's a pop pack. Pretty friendly keychain. Man, I have a store. It's opening right now. It's pretty sweet though. If you like that, Stranger Things for 20 to Kevin? Stranger Things for 20 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Hand that one off. Go ahead and put a price tag back. Oh, you still need that, don't you? Because you got to put something on it with a name. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a cool one. This is Wonder Woman uh, lanyard. It comes with a, uh, like a rubber uh, flat Wonder Woman. this uh this is a sapper uh pop figure this is one of those uh limited edition chase figure thingies right we had to march 44 in the store that's what they're going for i guess on uh ebay that's how we usually price the chase figures we look it up see what they're going for on ebay so just to be super cool and awesome like i almost always am i'm gonna put this puppy out for 29 bucks right there just claim it as i if you want, I mean, I'm not telling you you have to. I'm just saying if you want to, you can. That's cool. That's cool. I have an odd lot of comics here. I think I'll sell, but I can't ship them until Monday. Do you know why? Because today is Monday? Nope. What? Because these don't go out until Halloween. Oh, Halloween Comic Festival. Yeah. Do you think that's legal? Uh, it's a pre-sell. We're pre-selling, right? We're not. It's a pretty early pre-sell, but I mean, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Well, I don't want to know what they're <laughs> going to do, really. Uh, but as long as we don't ship them beforehand. That's true. That's true. That's what they told us before. We can put them out when we get them. We can display them. We can't show you the interior stuff on any of these. But this is like, I'm going to sell these in a lot. I'm going to sell these in a lot. I got Lady Mechanica. I got Grim Tears, Grim Tales of Terror. I've got the Mighty Thor, Walter Simonson, number one. I got Ghostbusters. This is the one everybody's going to want. Davy Keith, number one. Also, Batman, number one. And... Mortal Instruments. Let's see, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess, I guess I'll take a bids on these. These seven, I'll take bids. I'm not shipping them until next Monday, so you got to pay for them and then wait for me to ship them for a week. Thanks, dude. And then I got some uh, action figures here I'm going to put out. Some of them are new, some of them are used. We're going to put them out for between 4 and like $10. This is Jasmine from DC Infinity Edition 2.0. 10 
Mr. Robin Hanwright. All right. I'll take 10 on that lot, Robin. Uh, if anybody wants that lot for $10, please let me know. I will make an identical lot. And uh, you'll pay for it, but they will not be shipped until Monday, next Monday, not today, next Monday. Uh, this is Jasmine Infinity, Disney Infinity Jasmine. Uh, I think he sold for 15 or 20 bucks. I think you can put her out for nine. You can get her by saying I, I for nine, I for nine. Or is that J? Yeah, that's J, sorry. J for nine, J for nine. That's yours if you want it. I got some more action figures here. Uh, we're going to have to take some stuff down. Oh, we got room for a book up here. How about this Defenders number six, part one, first print, first cover? I'm going to put this out. It's bagged and boarded, brand new, bagged and boarded. It just came out last week. I'm going to go ahead and put it out for four. See if anybody is interested in that. I'm going to take a little sippy sip, and I'm going to come around for it. You got your bag, don't you? I do, but I'm not handing it off. Okay. You can put it on her thing as Rob. Rob Hanwright? Yeah. Thank you. It's a seven, it's a seven comic lot for uh, Halloween Comic Fest. If anybody wants that lot for ten bucks, just say HCF Halloween Comic Fest lot for ten, and you will get an identical ten issue lot. And we we ordered literally hundreds of books, so we have plenty. Uh, we're doing a Main Street grab Saturday. If you have got a chance, come on down. You can get those books for free. Stop at the shop. We've got hundreds of books to give away free. We're going to limit it to three to uh, three per person unless you're a subscriber. If you're a subscriber and you pick up everything in your subscription that day, you can take one of everything. Yep. And uh, we're going to be giving out some candy. We've got some other stuff going on. Demo games and lots of stuff. Maybe some food. Yeah. It's going to be a big deal. And downtown London is doing a um, like a boo on Main. So, like, all the retailers are going to be giving away candy outside and tables, too. You can just walk up and go trick or treat and get a whole handful of candy or whatever. That'll be cool. So, make a day of it. Come on down about 4 o'clock. Hit us first. Hit downtown. Have a great time. Be awesome. Yeah. I just had to get that out there. Does that work if I call in to get his subscription? Do you have a pull list with us, mm -hmm. Rob? Well, I guess I would say maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We do want people to come into the store that's kind of, you know, the Halloween, ha ha Halloween Comic Fest thing. We'll see if we have any left over at the end. Then I can open it up for, for other stuff. I'm not calling. It's just an ocean. Airplanes exist. You can fly over. Oh, is that how far away he is? Yeah, he's in England. Woo! All right. <laughs> All right. Well, nobody wanted this little feller, this little purple Batman keychain dude for six bucks. Nobody wanted that. So instead, this. Tell me what you think this is. Is this a? I mean, it's an action figure. I don't know a lot about action figures. Jason does, I think. Uh, this is from, I don't know what Plush Art Club does, but that's, uh, I'm going to go back and find the name of the place. But it's at oh, from Club. Enterprise. There you go. There All right, so this is the guy from Quantum Leap, uh, who was the captain of the Starship Enterprise in the TV show Enterprise. He's got his helmet. Got him. Pretty cool. 
I picked up a bunch of used action figures. Pops right on. Anyway, uh, this action figure, I'm going to put it right here. Uh, I'm going to mark that 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Awesome. Captain Archer. Captain Archer for 10 bucks. Captain Archer for 10 bucks. 10 buckaroos. Yeah. If you want Captain Archer for 10, just say G for 10. Boom, and it's yours. Nobody wanted the the little dude here for six, huh? Okay, how about the Hobbit? Pippin the Hobbit. Pippin the Hobbit for five. H for five. Look at that. This is so cool. Nobody knows. I am surprised that the $50 uh, dealio here didn't sell for 29 so I never need to pull another one of those back here again. Here's Ixalan. An Ixalan bundle. We're also going to try it for 29 I'm going to put this over in our pile to go back out on the beach and pick it up. This thing is crazy. This stuff is crazy. I'm going to take this down. This is Yu-Gi-Oh cards. cards in a box for 25 cents a piece. That's like, you know, 62.50 worth at a quarter a piece. But we're just going to let them go for nine bucks. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh lot for nine bucks if you want it. You know, if you want it. I'm just saying. Nobody's wanting the uh, 10 comic lot. Really? 10 comic lot for 10? How about 10 comic lot for 9? Someone said 10 comic lot for 9. This is Grim Fairy Tales Hunters. Cut number 5, near mint. And it's all for a buck. One dollar. Just say B for a buck. B for a buck. That comic is yours for a buck. Eh. Nobody wants the Defenders for cover price. Nine cents a piece. Okay. Here's the deal. Highlander number one, Way of the Sword. Both covers. Normally three fifty a piece. Now, I'm just gonna do the two of them for seven bucks. I'm sorry. The two of them for four bucks. It'd normally be seven dollars. Both of them for four bucks. Both covers. Highlander number one. That's a cool deal. Uh, there was the what we're talking about. That's the Sapper Chase that we had for two. This is the Sapper Chase. Uh, from what? From what game? This is the Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Oh, twenty four. That's a cool deal, man. Uh, those are going for forty four dollars on eBay. That's what this note came from. We we'll marked it down a little bit, make it reasonable. Bring me a mocha. Don't want any of that, but thank you. Best of me, you can set it aside, put it in the fridge, eat it yourself, whatever you like. I'm not in the mood to eat right now, but thank you. My boy thought of me, brought me some stuff. Cool coffee. Actually, it's hot coffee. Said it's a mocha. I only drink girly coffee. Yeah. All right. Let's pull some stuff off and put some different stuff up. Right? Walking Dead 119 didn't sell for five bucks. That's insane. Didn't The Walking Dead start last night? Uh, yeah, big season. I think it was their 100th episode last night. Their 100th episode? Yes. Yeah. You know what would have been cool? If they'd have just killed everybody off. That would have sold pretty well, too. Yeah. <laughs> would have been bad. All right, so this is Walking <laughs> Dead number 123. Five bucks. Nobody wants any magic today. That's that's heartbreaking, man. 
to be fair, it's tough to see on the screen if you look. It's over there. Yeah. That's a good spot. Well, I'm going to use it as a prop. Ah. Nice. And then over here, put the the prop of the uh, 250 Yu-Gi-Oh cards for just nine dollars. 250 Yu-Gi-Oh cards for just nine dollars. That's a good deal. That necklace, that awesome necklace from Lindsay Archer for ten bucks. We got Leela down there for ten. Nobody likes Leela for ten. Nobody wants Leela for ten. I'm gonna take that off. And I'm going to put Leela out for nine. Nine bucks on Leela. Who's getting Leela for nine? Hey, Shamir. How's it going, man? Hey, so nobody likes Captain Archer for ten? All right. Let's go Captain Archer for six. I don't know what action figures are worth. So I'm just kind of flailing around a little bit. I bought a bag of action figures. Somebody brought them in. I'm just selling stuff. It's not bad, guys. For six bucks, even if you don't collect action figures, that's a six-inch figure. In a spacesuit, super articulated, and let's face it, it's the guy from Quantum Leap. Really, it's a Quantum Leap action figure, as far as I'm concerned, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> that's how you sold it to me. It's like, this is a Quantum Leap, and I'm like, I don't think that's a Quantum Leap. <laughs> I don't remember him having a spacesuit in Quantum Leap. I thought it was Dave from Space Odyssey from Star Trek One. Oh yeah, I can see that. But it's it's definitely the actor. That's guy who looks a little bit like Dennis Quaid. <laughs> who looks a little bit like it sounds like um, Harrison Ford. Don't you think Dennis Quaid looks a little bit like Harrison Ford? Yeah, especially now that they're both a little older. They yeah. Uh, Jason's wondering if you have any Star Wars or superpowers figures in that bag of figures. Pretty awesome. Let me let me get some stuff out here. I mean, it's a big bag of figures. I got turtles. Oh. I got I like turtles. Spawn, Spider-Man. Or maybe that's Carnage. Which one's black? Is that Spawn? That's Venom. Not Spawn. It's Venom, yeah. I've got this one you don't see every day. Oh, you got Marvel Legends. I'm going to have to look at these. Bam! You took that motherfucker out. I think it's Venom. I got this big dude. Looks like, I don't know. It's some kind of spawny thing. Did you say Venom? Venom thing. I've got the thing and steel. It's the same bag. I'll take those out in a minute. I got Daredevil from the TV show. I've got the Falcon. Yeah. Look at the top of that. That sucks. Yeah. You gonna see it? Is it? I don't know. It says it's hard to see though. I'll put these out here in a few minutes. I'll probably put them out for like six bucks a piece. We'll ship any number of action figures to you for five ninety five total. All right, can't ship them to you with comics, or they'll beat up the comics. But any number of action figures can go to you for five ninety five. Any TV Flash? No. I bought. You know, the, I just got what people brought in. Nobody wanted this guy. I'm just going to put out a different action figure for the same price. Morgan, the new uh, season three TV Flash uh, from DC uh, Collectibles. We didn't get it in. Uh, however, we do have it ordered to come in, um, so we should have some soon-ish. There's the Falcon. Falcon is six bucks. Bam! That's right. I said it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Morgan, we do have um, Captain Cold from the Flash TV show. I think he's the only Flash TV figure we have. Got a whole bunch of turtles. Who wants five turtles for twenty bucks? Good deal. Five turtles for twenty bucks. If I gotta take them out and sell them individually, I'm gonna sell them for six to eight a piece. But right now, you can get five turtles for twenty bucks. And they run the gamut too. You got the 2002 versions. You got the new Nick versions. You got all kinds of stuff in that bag. Not a bad deal, guys. This one has a helmet. That one has a blue bandana around his eyes. This one has a purple one. This one has some kind of night vision goggles. 
And then this one has a red bandana. So it's a nice bunch of turtles. Bag o' turtles, 20 bucks. Bag o' turtles, 20 bucks. If you want that, just let me know. Just let me know. I'll get that. I'm having some fun. All right, let's put up some different stuff. We got the guitar. Oh, okay, we got. <coughs> nobody bought the Lila for nine dollars. Oh my God, I don't know. Nobody wanted Lila for nine. Hmm. Let's just turn that upside down. Let's try selling that Lila for six. Lila for six. Falcon for six. Hobbit. We're going to mark the Hobbit 4. I was hoping I had a used price tag back here for 4, but I don't. I don't. I'm just going to have to make a new price tag for 4 bucks for the Hobbit. Somebody buy the Hobbit. It's Pippin. Pippin. I'm sorry, Pippin. Pippin for 4. Who wants Pippin for 4? Pippin for 4. He's got the card and everything. Brand new. Just came out of the bag today. I mean, you guys saw me open him. He's pretty cool. Nobody wants this one here, this uh, sapper for 29 I think we'll put that back out on the retail store. That'd be cool. How about the thing? Anybody want the thing for, uh, what, do you, what do you think that thing is worth, $100? Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. It's a more of a universe, super articulated figure, the three and three quarter style. Um. I would say five bucks is a good price on him. Five bucks? Yep. Man, I would pay to him. I think I paid 25 for him. Oh. Really? Just five bucks? you got to call me in on them figure buys. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> All right. So Jason says the thing could go for five bucks. It's a good-looking thing, though. I've seen a lot of thing game uh, pieces over the years. <laughs> seen a lot of things? Well, that too. <laughs> but, I mean, this one's got, like, he's got his little pieces. I mean, he's all, you know, the whole... This looks better than the one they put in the Fantastic Four movie. Let's just say that. If they had taken this one and done stop motion with it, it would have been an improvement on the movie thing. Really. I mean, I don't mind Michael Chiklis doing the fucking uh, voice, but that was just stupid. Why? I'm wearing an orange suit. Have you, have you watched the documentary that they put up about the Roger Corman Fantastic Four movie? Mm -mm. Oh, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It shows just how – like, the thing is, their Doctor Doom actually conceivably looked better than all other Doctor Doom versions. But just like, I mean, paper mache arms for Mr. Fantastic, like, it was just amazing. <laughs> In classic, you know, Roger Corman stop motion, you know, Oh, style. I got you. It was, oh, it, was so, it was so bad. It does sound fun. Yeah. So what have you seen recently? I watched uh, I watched Amazing Spider-Man last night so at home. Good, right. Uh, you know, the most recent one. Homecoming, right? yep. yeah. Yeah, Homecoming. I did enjoy that. Yeah, it's, it's, I Aunt love it. Aunt May has never looked that good. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually like the uh, I like the downgrade of the costume. I like when he had to go back to wearing the uh, – because it looked like a legit homemade yeah. deal, which I feel like they've not – They've never made that work in other movies. They've always made it to where he can he's just a master seamstress from the right. get go. So I, I like that it was just a hoodie and I did you too. Know, uh, yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> you been to the theater lately? Uh no, but I'm gonna go see uh oh, what well, we did. We did go to the theater. We went and saw Princess Bride. Oh. Uh they re released it for just like one weekend and it was up in Richmond. We went and saw that. Uh, that was my oldest daughter, Tonya, her favorite movie of all time. I've seen that movie a hundred times, uh, but it's only the second time I've seen it in theaters, of course, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I like the movie in Richmond. I like the theater in Richmond because uh, they have hot dogs, Yeah. and uh, they're really good quality hot dogs. So, of course, I get the enormous bucket of popcorn and a hot dog, mm -hmm. and they have Coke Zero, so... That's cool, and I've tried to sounds like your, my own your soda. perfect place. Yeah. yeah, so I get two <laughs> hot dogs and the bucket of popcorn and the soda, and then when I go to leave, you can get a free refill on the soda and the bucket of popcorn. Oh, nice! So you yeah, get, so I get home just home. in time to take an enormous dump because <laughs> let's face it, popcorn goes right through me. It takes everything with it. <laughs> it's like eating sand. <laughs> the uh, they they reopened the. Uh, 
in the Somerset Mall, the theater that closed, uh, a guy I know, a couple went in and renovated it and made kind of a family friendly, just like clean up the theater. And it, it has some recent movies, but a lot of older stuff as well. And like oh. over the past bit, they like they had the Goonies. Um, I wow. wanna, I want to say they may have done Ghostbusters, or they were going to do Ghostbusters. Uh, they're doing Rocky Horror Picture Show next. I want to say next Saturday I'm night at like eleven thirty or something. But they could. They're doing really cool, like next time yeah. you're in there, you see that guy. Tell mm-hmm. him just to like mail us his thing, and you know, email it to us. We'll post it up over here on our bulletin board because uh, I like to support that. Yeah. I like to go see some old movies. They've been I posting like pretty regular. Like they, they about each week it seems like they have. You know, they they had Spider Man up until just the last week or two, of yeah. course. But like, yeah, they've been going back and doing like older '80s stuff as we nice. go through. So yeah. George said he saw the. Uh, he saw the documentary and he saw the actual FF Corman movie. He watched it. He said it was so bad it was good. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I, it's, I have so little time to watch anymore that it's hard for me to watch something. Right. It, you know, and and, and enjoy the I, now. Mr. Science Three Thousand. I can watch them on that because the way it's set up. But right. if a movie's just garbage, I usually have to turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's too much good TV now to watch garbage movies. That's true. That's true. We've been watching. Uh, Oh man, we finished so many things recently. All the Netflix stuff, and uh, there was one about a God. I can't even remember all the good Netflix stuff we've seen. It, it, there, there's a lot of stuff on there that I haven't even started. That I'm just I didn't even know it was on. They haven't really advertised. Right. I guess because like Stranger Things and stuff gets so much of it. Right. But there's all these other things that are just under the radar. That there's a lot great. of good stuff on there. We completed a couple Netflix series last week, and then we started watching uh, Sneaky Pete. Oh yeah. Have you seen that? Is it it's about a guy who's in prison with a guy who he's friends with. And the, his family, the one guy who doesn't get out of prison, his family has not talked to him in 20 years. They don't even know he's in prison. So the other guy huh. gets out and goes to this guy's hometown and pretends to be him and reconnects with his family. Oh, right? gosh. I've seen, the, I've seen so the trailer stuff for it. Yeah, I've yeah. only seen, like, the first three episodes. It's interesting. It's not great. Then there's another one that's really scary that's out right now. I don't remember if that's Netflix or Amazon. I forget what it's called, but. It's uh, it makes Kim jump all the time, <laughs> and she doesn't like scary shit. So it's really, it's really weird that she watches it with me. So, hey, while we're jabbering about movies and stuff, you guys can interject your uh, comments or questions about movies or whatever. Buy some comic books or whatever. Ask us what, what we got. I mean, you know, we got other action figures and stuff. I'm gonna rotate a little bit of stuff out of here, but uh, we're just kind of kicking it right now. Not making a big push to sell stuff. Uh, I'm going to mark this $10 bundle or 10 book bundle. This is now 10 books, 10 comics for 8 bucks. 10 comics, 8 bucks. Nice variety of stuff there. 10 comics, 8 bucks. Uh, this was a buck, so since I can't sell it for a buck, I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to put something else out. I don't think I don't have a graphic novel that I can turn this into. I have something fun. What do you think? Something fun? Something fun? Um. Eh. I don't know. You got a graphic novel over there somewhere? Not that I'm no? seeing. Not that you're seeing. I see what you're saying. You're not seeing the thing. Excuse me. Sugar. I'll be right back. Oh. Laying over here in a pile is uh, Dark Knight Metal number three. Did any of you need a uh, first print copy of Dark Knight Metal three? Oh, is it five bucks? We got a couple here. Four dollars. Four dollars? Yeah. All right. That's from uh, this last week. There's Dark to be a couple Knight Metal here. number three. Four bucks, first print, near mint. It will be bagged and boarded. Uh, right now it's not, but we will bag them and board them if you buy them. Otherwise, I guess we'll go ahead and put those out on the sale. I'm going to pull these. That needs to go out on the webs- or on the retail floor as well. We got no takers on the uh, action figures so far, man. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Eric said he's going to pee in the store sometime this week. Said he scored uh, scored a large lot of books, and some of it uh, he can't use or doesn't collect. Maybe we can might need it. So that that's sounds cool. good. We'll check it out. I like buying stuff. We bought some good comics the other day from the guy. Saw a few grip of stuff. A lot of it was older stuff too. That was a lot of fun. It was all Silver Age stuff. Oh, well, some of it was Golden Age, but literally that collection, none of it was uh, newer than, uh, I mean, there was no Bronze Age. He had a couple 20 cents, 
and he had more 10 cent covers than he had 20 cent covers. Hey, this is Tomb Raider, Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Uh, it is a, uh, what do you call this, an ash can book? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to mark it five bucks and stick it out there. That, was, that came from our weird box I just opened here a little bit. Oh, here's a graphic novel. How about Fury, Death Duty, Black Widow? Wow. Black Widow. Is this Marvel? Yes, it is. All right. So this is Fury and Black Widow in Death Duty. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> is it dramatic? Yeah. That's pretty dramatic. It's, it's pretty dramatic. All right. So this was, this was originally six bucks. And it is in near mint condition. I'm going to open this cover just just enough to see when it was printed, if I can. 1965. No. <laughs> 1995. I'm just kidding. 1995. I'm going to put that out here for six bucks. That was the original cover price is 5.95. I'm putting it out for six bucks. That's cool. It's like original graphic novels. I guess just yeah. contained in that book ever. So yep. that's kind of a cool story to grab. Yep. Nobody wants my Hobbit, my little no. guy. I'm having trouble selling my little guy. All right. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking for any uh, particular action figures and stuff, uh, let me know if there's anything you guys are just looking for, like, ah, oh, I want the figure of this, or do you have this? Let me know, because I can always run up to the front of the store and uh, see what we have available. I'm, I know a lot of it, so uh, feel free to ask. That is Venom. Yeah, that's Venom from um, one of the last Spider-Man cartoons. Um, pretty awesome design. Uh, Jeff Matsuda designed those just like he designed the uh, one of the Batman animated series. Fig or not Batman series, but uh, The Batman. And uh, he has kind of a manga style to it. So pretty cool Venom figure. There you go. If you like that uh, Venom, he's 10 bucks. The, uh, you know, the Falcon is, what did we mark it, six? $5 on the thing? I mean, those are pretty moderately priced items. I'm going to remark this. We had this out for nine. This uh, Infinity Doohickey, what you call it here, whatever. Uh, anyway. Oh, Disney Infinity, yeah, the yeah. Jasmine. I'm just going to mark it down to five. That's a big markdown. J for five, if you want it. I mean, you know. Yeah. What's the best comic you read recently, Jason? Oh, that's a good question. I've actually made time to read them lately. Uh, of course, also one of the things where I've read so many so quick that they kind of blur. Okay. Uh, I would say still the Dark Knight Metal stuff. Uh, Dark Knight Metal. Uh, yeah, man. It, it is very popular. It's the first event in years that I've legitimately read every book, every tie-in, every one-shot, like. And I'm interested in all of it. Like, yeah. it's it's good. It's good. We got uh we got a lot of stuff going on here at the store. On the weekends we got uh, um Thursday night we have a Pathfinder group. Friday night we have a Dungeons and Dragons group. Saturday we have some uh, card game players and board game players that come in and just play. Uh, there's no entry fees for any of that. You just come in and have a good time. Uh, I was telling my wife this morning. I, I don't know what made me think about it, but uh, years ago, you know, mm -hmm. 2000. One to 2003, something, 2002, something like that. I had a DD and d group, an Advanced Dungeons & Dragons first edition group that played in my store in Michigan back when I owned a store called BC Hobby. Okay. And we ran this D&D &D group, and we played for 15 months. And I pre-made the characters. Uh, I pre-made the characters. I had a male paladin. He had a 17 charisma. His other stats were like 13s and 12s and stuff. Uh, there was a male druid. Uh, the male druid. Uh, he had like a 17 wisdom, and then he had, again, 12s and 13s. He had like 114. He had a, like an 8 uh, dexterity. He wasn't real quick because he <laughs> was always he was kind of always stoned because uh -huh. he was always on druid stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, he had a wolf that was semi-intelligent, and the, someone played the wolf. The wolf was a character. He was a fighter class. He could advance in levels just like the other characters could. And then there was a female bard. She was really pretty. She had a... Uh, 17 Charisma, really pretty. She could sing and stuff, and she could cast a couple of very low-level spells. And then we had a female cleric in the party. She was kind of a healer and a support. She had a big, like, boom, fall back. 
uh, type of mace to thump people with. And uh, this group played for about uh, 15 months. And every time someone would drop out, mm -hmm. I'd have another player come in and play that same character. They wouldn't start new characters. And even though some of the characters, it's D&D, &D, sometimes they get killed. You can always get raised or, you know, saved from the dead or reincarnated or all kinds of stuff. Anyway, yeah. the characters kept coming back. It was a recurring thing, these five characters. And then I had a new player show up to play the paladin one night, and he goes, talking wolf, female uh, bard, female cleric, I'm the paladin, and you're the druid. You guys know we're playing Scooby-Doo, right? <laughs> and no one else had ever known. <laughs> I had kept it a secret for 15 months that they were playing Scooby-Doo. So, and their and their missions were very Scooby-Doo. It's like, oh, this guy had, you know, had a piece of artwork stolen from the town square, and and then the other one was like, oh, this guy had, um, you know, the 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 store was robbed, but there's no way anybody could have got in or out. Or uh, yeah. at the farm, there's a there's a, a monster in the corn. You had to go find the monster. And then it wasn't really a monster. It was a guy that was, <laughs> was trying to scare other people <laughs> off. And then yeah. there was a there was a haunting. Only it wasn't really a ghost. It was a dude that's trying to scare people away. Right? And I mean, how did they not know they were playing Scooby Doo? Yeah. We played D and D Scooby Doo for a, almost a year and a half before they figured it out. So, <laughs> yeah, one of my fun D and D stories. So I'm wondering if the 11 people who are watching our feed at 10, 9. Wow, nobody liked my D&D &D story. I'm wondering if they uh, if they are just like, they left their computers on and walked away. Because we're not selling anything. Let me put up some different stuff. I don't really care. I don't really care. We're going to have a real serious sale later. But this is not our serious sale. Well, speaking about uh, Scooby-Doo, up there on the wall, that uh, $60 print, that is a Scooby-Doo print signed by Tom Cook who is one of the main animators on Scooby-Doo. He's also the main animator on He-Man and She-Ra. We've got uh, signed He-Man and She-Ra prints as well. But that is the uh, Scooby-Doo print signed by Tom Cook. On the back, it shows him signing the print. And he was one of the lead animators on, well, let's face it, a lot of classic animation that I grew up with. And, uh, yeah, I think that's our last of the Scooby-Doo that he did. Yeah, uh, We sold a couple of the He-Man and She-Ra. I think we still have maybe one or two left of those. But I think it's the last Scooby-Doo. Yeah, we got some cool stuff. Joe says he's still here. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. So, Joe, what can we do? What can we put up that would make someone buy some stuff? What do you think? Hmm. That's going to go on the website, I think. Where's that website? This one here. So how many of you on the feed uh, watched The Walking Dead? I mean, no spoilers. I don't want any spoilers in the feed. But how many of you watched the, uh, the Walking Dead premiere last night? And how many of you were like me? And you were watching WWE TLC last night. DC Metal for four to Miguel. DC Metal for four, you got one over there? Uh, I have two. Okay, we're, we're going to go ahead and sell that one to you, uh, Miguel. It's also near mint. We got one more DC Metal for four if somebody wants it. Last one. We got that Lindsay Archer original artwork uh, print pin out here. Uh, I'm sorry, necklace for just $10. We normally sell those in the store for $19.99. Wow, we can't sell this one for six. I can't mark that any lower for the Leela. We'll just pull that one back. Um, it's a bummer, man. This is Tom Servo from Science Mystery Science Theater 3000. The Tom Servo Pop. Uh, this one is 13 bucks. And when you buy pops or action figures from us, you can get up to six pops uh, or action figures all shipped together. For five ninety five, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one out here uh, for its price, thirteen dollars. What do we got here? Oh man, the Falcon didn't sell for six. All right. So is anybody interested in the Falcon? Somebody make me an offer on the Falcon. I'll either sell it or I won't. Come on, Falcon. Hang out, buddy. Yeah. 
Somebody made me an offer on that Falcon. We had them previously marked at six bucks. You would almost say it's an auction for the Falcon. All right. Well, <laughs> All right, let's auction the Falcon. Who's gonna Who's gonna buy the Falcon from the auction? Start me off at two bucks. Somebody start me two bucks. Who wants to go two bucks on the Falcon? Two dollars on the Falcon, and we will run an auction on that puppy. One of my favorite superheroes from my childhood, the Falcon. I actually like Luke Cage better. What's your thoughts on the uh, the Falcon Captain America transition? You like it? I haven't read that. that. I can't. I can't do that, man. Come no. on. No. Mm. Well, I mean, back now you should dig it. It's all back. It's the Marvel Legacy stuff. It's all. Mm. All back to normal. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to forgive him. I'm not going to forgive him for making him a what was he a agent of shield of Hydra. Hydra. Got to blame the Red Skull, man. Got to blame the Red Skull. It's the Red Skull's fault. I didn't it's always Red Skull's fault. <laughs> it always is. <laughs> what happened to Captain Zemo? He used to be a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, he is. Well, he was, and then he uh, uh, he started the Thunderbolts, and he kind of became a good guy, sort of. And then I think he's went back to being bad. He was bad in uh in in that last build, but uh, I don't know, man. He just never he just never got the clout as the Red Skull has. There's the. Uh, there's the bag of turtles, five Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures for 20 bucks. Nice. And I ain't going to put a price tag on there. It's just 20 bucks. If you want it, I'll tell you what. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle blind bag. I'm going to include that with it for 20 bucks. Now you get six Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nobody wanted the Falcon. I'm putting the Falcon away. Six turtles for 20 bucks. That is worth it. That blind bag is a mini mate. A little articulated figure on who you're going to get. And yes, Casey Jones is in there. This is Scorpion. You get it. That is Scorpion. That's a uh, Marvel Legends Scorpion figure. Marvel Legends Scorpion figure. I'm going to put that out here for eight dollars. Yeah, I think I think he was out of the um, out of like a Spider-Man Classics wave they had or something like that. But yeah. uh, he's he's super articulated version of the Scorpion. Very cool. Bendable tail. Um, very nice. Eight bucks. Nobody wants the thing. I'm not good at this action figure thing. You can sell these action figures tonight when you get up if you want. Okay. Let's get some of these here. Captain Archer. Speaking of tonight, I'm going to have to gather some stuff up for you guys. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys are after tonight, uh, comic-wise, so I can know kind of what to be hunting. Uh, so let me know some titles and stuff that you guys might be looking for. And it just so happens we might have some of those available right now. So just go ahead and put them in the comments. This is uh, Grim Fairy Tales Hunters, the Shadowlands. Number four, cover A. These girls are trying to kill each other. I'm just going to put this out for four bucks. Near mint, beautiful condition. Nice cover. Really like it. Four bucks. And again, it's letter I if you want to claim it. I for four. All right, we're going to leave those up for a few minutes, and we're going to call it a call it a um a sale and Jason can get the stuff ready get back up here in about an hour or so and run a good sale this evening Sixteen people on. Not bad. What are you guys doing? Are you guys at work right now? Are you at home? Are you in traffic, sitting in the rain, thinking about life, contemplating everything you can in a big lots parking lot? What is going on, guys? Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you're doing. 
It's exactly what we're doing. Mostly. Programming an app. Got you guys in the background. I like it, Joe. Don't get too distracted. <laughs> what kind of app are you programming? So what we got out there is about $95 worth of stuff. And I'd like to sell the board, including the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the close-up window. Um, that would include the action figures, the comic, the bundle, uh, graphic novel, everything that's out there. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, pop figure. Yeah, the the five turtles for or six turtles for twenty bucks. Everything in one box. Including shipping, 50 bucks. Including shipping, 50 bucks. Claim the board for 50. Have fun. All your shopping, all your Christmas shopping will be done. That's a good deal. That it's just who you're gonna, who you going to sell it to. Or, I mean, give it to. <laughs> this is all your Christmas shopping done in one yep. stroke. 50 bucks of miscellaneous awesome stuff shipped to your house. It's going to be like Christmas for you when it comes to your doorstep. An NDA. Oh, I'm going to guess it's something cool then, Joe. Some type of app that allows me to find out the closest place to get a sandwich. I don't know. It sounds like, like a butt sex um, app to me. Is it butt sex? Either or. <laughs> a good app's a good app. A good app's a good app. 50 bucks for the board. You get everything up there, including a bag of Ninja Turtles, guys. A bag of Ninja Turtles. Five Ninja Turtles. Five Ninja Turtles. Like four, four more action figures. You get a copy of DC Metal. You get ten books for $8 bundle there. Ten comics in a bundle. You get Jasmine from Aladdin. All oh kinds of God, stuff. Wonder Woman lanyard. Oh, my God. Uh, everything. $50. That is a good deal. That Lindsay Archer. Um Necklace is normally twenty bucks. Mark down to ten, thrown in a bundle for basically five dollars value. Oh, the Tom oh Sir Tom Servo pop vinyls up there. You can sit him next to you. You can get on Netflix, watch MST three K, and it'll be just like he's there, saying snide remarks the entire time. So, I'm going to put up one more offer uh, before we get on to the next thing. I'm going to tell you we opened this bundle, this box today. We pulled. Well, we pulled about a third of the box out and have sold it. Uh, the rest of them we haven't gone through yet. I'm just going to pull out uh, one, every tenth comic. I'm just going to pull it out. The one in front is Tom Strong Monthly uh, from February 2000, and it is near mint. It's America's Best Comics. Number 11 is the Black Pearl, number three, near mint, Dark Horse. Back here, ooh. Fathom, number 12, foil cover, near mint, October 2002, from uh, Image. Back here, we have Excalibur 121, near mint. Almost all of these books are bagged and boarded. Uh, those that are not would be if we shipped them to you. Wildcats, number one. X-Force, Shockwaves X-Force number 107. So what I'm saying is, is we got a bunch of Marvel and DC and Image back here in this box. Valiant, Valiant, DC, Image. Lots of good stuff in this box. And if you want 10 books for 10 bucks, you just say 10 for 10, and I'll pull 10 at random out of this box. You can say front, back, or middle, and I'll just pull out 10 books for 10 bucks. I won't even look at them. I'll just put them 
so the two of them show face or or uh, back to back, and you buy them for ten bucks. Ten books, ten bucks. You say ten books for ten bucks, and you say middle, front, or back, and I will pull the ten, bag them up for you, and ship them to you for ten bucks. Well, you got to pay the shipping, but you're probably going to buy more stuff tonight anyway, so that doesn't matter. Again, five ninety five shipping for up to twenty four books. Hard to beat that. And then another five ninety five shipping for up to another twenty four books. Lots of fun stuff. You guys might you guys might as well jump in. We're up to eighteen viewers again. Ten books for ten bucks. You decide front, middle, or back. That's right. And you'll get them out of the box we haven't yet gone through. Who knows what is in there? Seriously. Totally. What's up, James? How you been? What's up, James? You in the market for a 10 for 10 bundle? Completely at random from a box we just opened. I got to tell you, out of the uh, the vault side that we pulled that box, I've been pulling some really good stuff out of there. I didn't look through that box before we pulled the lid off. I don't know what's in there. Um, the fact that there's X-Force at all means there could be some really high dollar X-Force. It's really tough to say. I suggest you do a 10 for 10. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out this afternoon. We've been talking about movies and comics and books. You know, hanging out, talking about shit. Selling a little bit of stuff. We got some good deals out there on the board. We're also trying to sell the whole board for 50 bucks. It's $92 worth of stuff for 50 bucks, including shipping. That's the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the uh, jewelry, the, the 16 Age Mutant Ninja Turtles for $20 lot. That Marvel Legacy uh, Scorpion, the pop figure, that includes the uh, eight for or uh, ten books for eight bucks a lot. It includes the Jasmine from Disney. Everything that's on the board right now, including the close-up window, for fifty bucks. We also have back here in this box we haven't completely searched. Uh, um, ten comics for ten bucks. The interesting thing about this is we opened this this morning and started going through it and just selling from the front, and that's when we pulled out the uh, that Silver Age Strange Tales uh, number 139, which we're going to give away this evening, and a whole bunch of $20 and $30 books that we sold, a whole bunch of $5 and $10 books that we sold and or haven't sold, um, and we didn't go all the way through the box, so... There's Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, and some other stuff in the box. Uh, we just looked at every tenth book a minute ago and told people what they were, and we're offering 10 for 10 out of that. Thank you, Connie. We appreciate that. We pride ourselves on Madoff's Games of Comics being, in fact, an awesome store. We do. We had, we had a crew in this morning. Uh, Jason, before you were here, five guys from uh, – McCleary County, I think they said they were. I don't remember what county. They were like an hour away. Yeah. And they came in and they they were like, "Wow!" <laughs> like, yeah, we are pretty wow. That's true. I tell you, yeah, yeah, McCreary, they, yeah, yep, yeah. They've been fun. They, that's a that's a good little drive. Good little drive, but worth it. That's the one thing we have a lot of guys who drive up from Monticello and the surrounding areas, and of course down there where Jim's at, which is pretty good, pretty good haul, and nobody ever complains about. Oh, it wasn't worth the drive over here. You they know? don't do that. Yeah, so. Plus, it didn't hurt. London's got some good restaurants, got some things going on. So, it's, you know, you come over here to the comic shop, you pick up some stuff, you check things out, go get something to eat, you can kill a day. Oh, yeah. If you're on the weekend, got a couple of really nice flea markets available, which have a lot of uh, treasures to be found. Uh, yeah, that's where uh, that's where Kim and I went on Sunday. We went and bought some cool stuff. Sweet. I, I collect all kinds of weird shit. Rusty tools that I don't know what they'll do. Yeah. <laughs> right figure it out later <laughs> well usually i'll tell the guy i'll if we agree on price i'll say but you got to tell me what it's used for uh -huh. and if the guy's like i don't know what it's used for then i don't buy it yeah but i got all kinds of shit i got hog scrapers i didn't know that was a thing you know you have to scrape a hog um 
but the, the the inside or the outside? Alive or dead? What are we talking? Dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah, you need a log scraper. I also have a, uh, I mean, a hog scraper. I also <laughs> have, uh, I'm not going to be killing any hogs. I like pigs. Yeah. So. But um, I also have a log roller. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. I have a, uh, I have a uh, steer trimmer to cut the big ass horns off a steer. Oh, yeah? That's a dangerous looking piece of equipment right there. Is it like clippers or is it like a? It's like a guillotine or. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting the huh. idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face you got the idea. Yes, that's what it looks like. <laughs> well. <laughs> I can already, I can already, yeah, I can think of horrible, horrible uses <laughs> of this. <laughs> yeah, that could be seen in a. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of tuck- Kentucky-based uh, horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Tell Enough you. of a hostile situation. Yeah, you what? Yeah. <laughs> Let's trim your horn down. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also collect hammers. I have about 40 different kinds of hammers. If I find a hammer I don't own, uh-huh. I buy it. Rock hammers, like bronze hammers and, you know, mallets of every type and description. Like, from a circus mallet down to... Like little e bitty hammers. I have one that's round. The head of the hammer is round. Hmm. Somebody told me it was a it was a blacksmithing tool, which is absolutely not the case because the neck on the uh, on the handle shaft only comes down to like a fucking half an inch. You can't <laughs> swing that with any force. <laughs> you know, it might be a leather working tool, but it's definitely not. Uh, you know, it's not a blacksmithing tool. Like something you'd use to, I guess, shape with. I guess. Maybe. Well, not anything heavy. Yeah. Because, like I say, you're going to have to hit something like, that's about as hard as you could hit it. Cause, and it weighs like two pounds. Yeah. You don't have to swing that very hard to break the handle off. Huh. Well, Tommy, you've been missing good shows, but not listening to us and hanging out and buying comics. But you are right. There have been some good stuff on Netflix and uh, uh, Amazon Prime. I got Amazon Prime. Hulu. I like Hulu. I've gotten caught up, totally caught up on some shows I really like, like The Blacklist. I really like The Blacklist. Ta- caught up on that. I'm not caught up on Z Nation. I'm not. Sh- I was going to catch up on uh, Dark Matter. Have you seen Dark Matter? Uh, I have not. I've heard that's it's good. That's pretty good, but they just said they weren't going to do a third season, so what's the point of watching the second season? No. And then there's been a lot of good shows on Netflix that have been, like, not renewed. Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, the one about Attila the Hun. I forget what that's called. Marco Polo. Oh, okay. Okay. I just First and second season, plus they did a special uh, called The Monk of a Thousand Eyes or something shit. I don't remember. Yeah. Those are amazing and interesting and compelling. And then they're like, eh, we're not going to do a third season. Yeah. My, my, my biggest loss for that is uh, on HBO years ago when they had Carnival. Mm. And it went two seasons. Yeah. And ended – with the fight, <laughs> right, and then just that's it. nothing, <laughs> and the look of the show, just all of it, so good. Yeah, and now if they did it, oh, they could do it even so much better now with the yeah. effects and yeah, yeah, and then nothing, so nothing. Yeah, Netflix should get Carnival. All right, uh, James says over. if I do the ten for ten, will you show me what I got? That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, okay. You want to do a ten for ten, James? Put it in the feed. Ten for ten. Front, back, or middle. And then front, back, or middle. Why do you want your comics out of this box? And we'll show you what you get as we pull it. Laura Croft Tomb Raider Ash Can Edition Near Mint. That's five bucks. Oh yeah, we had some people asking the other day. I can't remember who it was asking though about uh, Mage the Hero uh, Defined, the original uh, image runs of that before the new Hero Denied book was out. Uh, I have eleven issues I found the other day. Uh, if one of you guys are interested in the Mage books, let me know. They are single issues. I just can't remember who was asking about them. Ten for ten. From the middle. Yep. Yeah, I did pull them from the middle. 
This is preacher number 25. That's about an eight dollar book. This is Magnus Robot Fighter number one. No, number five. Also, flip this book for Ray number one. That's about a five dollar book. That's Ray's first appearance, I believe. Magnus Robot Fighter number eight. I'm not putting any more Magnus Robot Fighters in there, so I'll pull them if I find them. That's three. Fathom number 12 with the foil cover. That's a $5 book. Gen 13 number four. Is that Emmett? Yeah. Yep. You just barely see the Emmett logo. So that's five books. That's another Gen 13. I'm not going to stick you with it. This is Crimson uh, number two. Nice. Yeah. It's a Humberto Ramos vampire book he did when he left Marvel. It's really cool. Yeah. That's an R. Adams cover, I think, on that one. Six books. That is the exact same thing as that one, so I'm going to pull that one aside. Here is Deathmate from Image and Valiant Prologue. That's seven books. Let me get three more for you. Astro City, number... Is that number one? Yeah. Um, hey, man, you got a deal on your 10 for 10. <laughs> <laughs> Astro City number one. Because that was the image. That was before it went to D.C. So, yeah that's, yeah, that's the legit number one. Yeah. Eternal Warrior number one. <laughs> and another Crimson number two, so I'll get you one more. Astro City number two. Yep, not a bad deal, not a bad deal. And I'd say if anybody else wants one of those, probably want to claim a 10 for 10 pretty soon. 10 for 10. <laughs> and tell us front, middle, or back. <laughs> like I say, that box, we didn't go through it. <laughs> James seems to be, J James seems to be uh, pretty happy with his purchase. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal there, James. Wow. Yeah, if I'd have seen the Astro oh, earlier, he I'd wants put it he wants another there. one. Ten yep. for ten from the back. From the back. All right. These are not all bagged and boarded, but they will be. Dark Minds, Macropolis, from Image, number one. Any Image number one is mint shape is at least a five dollar book. Legionnaires, Cosmic Boy. Is that bronze or early? Nope, that's a modern day. Like I said, any near mint. Impulse, Superman comes to Manchester. Kentucky? Impulse, number 47. That's three. It is disappointing. Spider Girl, number 45. Also near mint. Spider Girl, number 46. DC Blood Syndicate, Urban Renewal, number 22. Icon, DC Icon, Mothership Connection. This is a $1.75 original cover. Eight, I believe. I'll count them when I'm done. That's the exact same issue. I'll pass on that. Legacy, number two. believe that is uh, nine. And legacy number one. Nice. Legacy number one. Arctic crust. It's not bad. Again, I'm going to make sure it's ten. It might be ten more. I just counted them right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the next book, that was another one of the exact same things there, is Ninja High School. Number one. Well, these are all near mint. Nice. Ninja High School number none, one. None of these that, are uh, at all. That is one. Um, yeah, that could be a uh, could be ten. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me check. Um, Adam 
McPhere says he'll take a 10 for 10 from the middle. You want them shown, Adam? And then after that, James wants a 10 for 10 from the front. You want them shown or you just want them? Yeah, he says he wants them shown, please. Okay. Excalibur number 15, near mint. Excalibur 13, very fine. Dark Horse pre presents Trekker, number four, near mint. Contagion, Robin, number 28. That's the fourth book. Contagion, Azriel, number 16. That's the fifth book. Wildcats, 24. Team one Wildcats, number one from Image, near mint. That's the same thing. Wildcats, number one from Wild Wildstorm and Image or just Wildstorm? I think it's just Wildstorm now. Well, yeah, Wildstorm, they ended up uh, selling out to DC. Okay. Astro City, number 22, near mint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Astro City, number 20, near mint. And who was that for? Uh, that was for Adam Fears. Adam Fears won when Patriots and Cinderella were just back and forth. And then uh, James Hall wants 10 from the front. 10 from the front? Yep. Okay. Steve Bag, number seven. Oh, it's front. One more set. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 6 from 2000, from 2000. This is an Alan Moore comic. Tom Strong number 5. Again, Alan Moore. The Cobweb number 5. Alan Moore's Tomorrow series. It has a very uh has a very, uh, you know, Sean Young looking drawn on the cover. That's, that's three. Prototype Mo Multiverse from Malibu Comics. What's that box? 11 bucks. Ultraverse Prototype number 15 near mint. This one is the Shroud. Number four with Spider Man, early modern age, near mint. That's a perfect book. Uh, this is Zombie? X O M B I? Mm -hmm. Is it Vertigo? Well, it's DC. Oh, yeah. DC Milestone. Doesn't say Vertigo on it. I think it predates Oh, it's though. Milestone. Milestone. Gotcha. I knew, I knew it was one of their covers, but yeah. Milestone. Yeah, Zombie. Gene Roddenberry Xander in Lost Universe, number zero from Techno Comics. <laughs> Walking Dead 125. <laughs> nice. 125 is like a seven or eight dollar book. Yeah. And Chaos Moon. Uh, from Caliber Comics, issue number one. Hot Kathy Moon. Who was that for? That is for uh, James Hall. James Hall, thank you, sir. Uh, 
Like any more takers on some bundles? I don't know more is in the box. We got a few more in here. Well, I mean, we got about uh, 40% of a long box left. There's still quite some treasures in there. I'm just going to flip through, but I already took a look and tell you what I got. The Black Pearl, Chaos Moon, Van Helsing, or no, Helsing, sorry. Uh, Gold Digger, Excalibur, Wild Cards, Magneto, Excalibur, Gundam, Crimson, Stormwatch, Infinite Crisis, X-Force, Gen 13, Ray, Magnus Robot Fighter, Solar, Man of the Atom, Magnus Robot Fighter, Fathom, Hardcore, Cable, Mystique, Absolution, Vortex, and Evangeline. It's a fair amount of stuff. Appreciate you guys buying some uh, dealios. Now I'm going to change up just a little bit. We're going to go to where everything is two bucks a piece. I'm going to remove everything that's out here now. Um, and I'm going to go, go to just two bucks per item. This is the cobwebs. I'm going to put this up here for two bucks. What's right here? Oh, that's a graphic novel up there for two bucks. Here is Batman 501. You want to look at these? Look at these Batman and tell me what I can't sell for two bucks. Okay. Okay. If we can sell them all for two, I'll sell them all. Xenoscope <coughs> number 100. Grim Fairy Tales. Two bucks. You can do them all. Here's a Batman 501 for two bucks. Here's a Batman 503 for two bucks. Here's a Batman 504 for two bucks. Here's an Unleashed number one from Grim Fairy Tales, two bucks. Just call them out by the by the letter if you want them. Uh, yes, James, you can call the shop. Tell them what you've bought. Uh, they can come back here and ask us for a total, or you can send us a Facebook message, and we'll send you up with your email address, and we'll send you a PayPal invoice. If you want to make sure they're shipped tomorrow, just call the shop now. Uh, Benjamin can take care of you. What's the B comic? I'm going to get to that in just a second. I appreciate you asking. This is Robin Hood Wanted, number five, for two bucks. E for Morgan. Just a moment, Morgan. I'll get you E. This is uh, Hunters, the Shadowland, number four by Xenoscope. Somebody took E. That's Morgan. Morgan. That was, uh, yeah, the Grim Fairy Tales 100. I think that's like a $12 book. Good buy. Or good purchase, I guess. <laughs> We're not telling you to get out of your stuff. All right. Here is Team Wildcats, number two. Dear Matt, bagged and boarded. All these books will be bagged and boarded. If they're not bagged and boarded now, they will be before we sell them to you for two bucks a piece. There you go. Have added a little bit. Also, if you'd like 10 for 10, I'll pull them from back here. I have a whole bunch of books uh, that I was going to put up for $5 earlier today. I'm going to put some of those up here shortly in a little bit. Uh, it's going to be Bronze Age stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to a $5 book thing, $5 per book thing. As soon as I sell this board, I'm going to sell this board for wants to buy this board. Who's going to buy some stuff? Buy it right off the board. Who wants to look at some of the old Bronze Age stuff? Oh, including a graphic.
graphic novel. Who wants the board for ten bucks? Eighteen dollars. It's it's about forty dollars with books. We got them priced at eighteen bucks. We sold the whole board to you for ten dollars. Ten bucks, including the graphic novel, which is in uh, D slot. A through I. Ten dollars. Uh, Russell wants, well, H G and F. Russell came in with H G and F. Sorry, Wayne. H G and F have sold. Let me put three more books out. You can tell me if you still want the board. If you do, you get it. And since we took down Batman, I'm gonna put up some Batman. Batman 505. Batman 506. Batman 507. Wayne, if you want the board, say still want the board. You say still want the board? You get the board for ten, Wayne. Russell, if you want HG enough again for two bucks a piece, you can claim that. <laughs> lots of Batman, lots of good stuff. The whole board for ten bucks. HG enough for two bucks a piece. Still take it. Wayne gets the board. Just a moment. All right, so I'm going to put out $5 stuff. Let me pull this sign and pull the five $2 sign. Hey, Drew, how's it going, man? Put out the $5 sign. Now, everything I put out is going to be 5 bucks. And I'm going to put out Bronze Age and maybe some Silver Age and some other stuff. Here is Howard the Duck, number six, 5 bucks, near mint. Uh, here is Hawkman, number five, 5 bucks. Here is the fly, number two, Red Circle Comics. Five bucks, near mint. Uh, I got a whole bunch of Hawkman. If somebody wants a bundle on Hawkman, let me know. I have a whole bunch of Bronze Age Hawkman. Here is the Green Hornet, number 11, from Now Comics. Five bucks. Here is Tor, number three, a Bronze Age DC comic. Very fine, it's a very fine plus. Here is Fantastic Four number 80. It's beat to shit. That's the condition. Beat to shit. But the uh, the cover is attached, and it's not missing a whole lot of it. I think this would grade a full good, 2.0, 5 bucks. Here is Fantastic Four 108. This one is a familiar condition. It's not only beat to shit, but it has a little bit of writing on it. But still, it's 5 bucks for a 15 cent? Yeah, 15 cent Silver Age comic. Here's a Fantastic Four, number 124, also good condition. Five bucks, Silver Age. Here's a v Avengers 104. This is the way the world ends. Yeah. Scarlet Witch is a one bad bitch. Yeah. Five bucks a piece. Take your picks. Because you know, Silver Age at five bucks is a great deal, especially Marvel's. Fantastic Four, Avengers. Five bucks a piece, and not putting them out at two. I'll pull them all down and put them on the website. I got lots of stuff to sell it to, but these ain't it. I also have a big pile of Bronze Age Hawkman. Bronze Age Hawkman number three, four. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's seven books. Seven Bronze Age, 75 cent cover, most of them in near mint, a couple of them in very fine plus. 20 bucks for seven Bronze Age Hawkman, if you want them. Everything's five bucks on the board, take it, grab it, pick it, choose it, have it. Gil says, cool shirts. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. I got a lot of these, but I got to get the actual, like, got to get a little patch on them to cover up all the old companies I used to have. Now we're mad ops. Right? I used to be Titan Games, and for a while I worked for Troll and Toad. Anytime I say Troll and Toad, I have to make the sign of the cross <laughs> so as not be sucked in by those vampires again. Not that I hold any <laughs> grudges, but fuck them, I'm just saying. 
Uh, Wayne says, what's that for nine? Oh, that's the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Wayne. You want that? You want, you want some Yu-Gi-Oh cards for nine, Wayne? I'd like to sell them to you. You know you want them. I forgot to pull them down. 250 Yu-Gi-Oh cards, nine bucks. Yeah, it's a good deal. We normally sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards in our loose box out front. 25 cents a piece for the kids to pick through and pick out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 250 at 25 cents a piece would be 62.50. Nine bucks is a deal. That's what I'm saying. That's not even four cents a card. Well, yeah. Not even four cents a card. Man, that's a deal. I meant to take those down. I didn't mean to leave those up. I'm going to do something with that right now. And I'm going to put out another $5 book. Is that the first appearance of that guy? Yeah, you want to look that one? Yeah? All right. So I got some, uh, like, war comics, too. Joe Kubert covered war comics, Russell. Joe Kubert cover. Fighting Forces, The Losers. Captain Storm, Johnny Cloud, Gunner, and Sarge. 20 Cent Silver Age, number 150. Putting it in the book in a box and still only $5. So any books up, you see your $5 books, all you have to do is say, I want A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, or J, or just take close-up window. Cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Joe Kubert. He did a lot of cool stuff, didn't he? That guy. What's up, Kyle Maggard? Glad to see you on here. Hanging out with us. We'll be selling some comic books. We'll be buying some comic books. Some Marvel Boy uh, Crusader. Pretty cool. And uh, surprisingly affordable first Marvel book. Really? Oh, yeah. About 12 for 15 bucks. First Marvel Boy. First Marvel Boy as Crusader. As Crusader. Yeah. With a Kirby cover. This is a $15 book. Jason tells me. I'm going to put it right here in B. $5. Nobody wanted Howard the Duck for 5 bucks. That's a good looking book. Who wants 10 for 10? Just put a couple Howard the Ducks and a Preacher in that box of random stuff that we've been selling 10 for 10. If you want some, let me know. Here are uh, seven Bronze Age Hawkman. Seven Bronze Age Hawkman. Eight Bronze Age Hawkman. This is three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three through ten. Eight. Bronze Age Hawkman. About forty dollars worth of comics. I don't know what that is. Fifteen <laughs> bucks. Not bad. Bronze Age Hawkman, all seventy five cent covers, eight through ten. Fifteen dollars. Eight comics, fifteen bucks on that one. Not to mention, as you guys know, you guys have been reading Dark Knight Metal. Carter Hall's playing a big part in that, as in he's disappeared. Well, let's face it, he's going to show back up as Hawkman because that's what he does. So uh, he does. now's a good time to pick up some Hawkman. Yeah, good time. Good time. What's up, Dave Napier? Everything up there right now is five bucks a piece except for C, which is eight consecutive Hawkman Bronze Age comics. Number three through number ten, and that's fifteen bucks for the whole pile. That's not even two bucks a book. <laughs> We're also selling out of this box back here. We pulled plenty of silver and image number ones and older stuff and a little bit of junk. All kinds of stuff out of this box. Ten random comics for ten bucks. You pick the front, the back, or the middle. We just pull the first ten, the last ten, or ten out of the middle. For ten bucks. Yeah, Heck, the first bundle you pull pull was probably like a sixty dollar bundle. <laughs> yeah, that first bundle was, was enormously um, <laughs> lucky. Wow. 
I mean, we've only sold, I think, we've sold four bundles out of that box. So there's still plenty in there. Oh, yeah. Plus, I put some more stuff in. I put in some Bronze Age stuff, and I put in that Preacher. That Preacher was like $15. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're down to seven viewers, so I guess we might as well call it a time here in just a second. I'm going to try to sell the whole board for fun, mm -hmm. see if we can do it. I can't go too low on some of this stuff, though. I mean, all those Bronze Age, man. Yikes. But, uh. Jason needs some time to set up his sale. He's going to start at 6. So let's see what I got out of this. We're not going to come down off of that any. We will sell the board for 35 or we'll just put it away. Anybody want the board for 35 Board for 35 Anybody want it? Five or six Silver Age books up there. And an eight-book run of Bronze Age Hawkman. Other books. All the books shown, including the one in the close-up cover, which is a Silver Age Losers with the Joe Kubert cover. Everything. Just 35 bucks. Who wants it? I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet. Has it? And like I said, we'll have another sale starting up at about 6 o'clock or so. So uh, let me know in the feed what kind of comics stuff you guys are looking for. That way I know what to collect for you guys. Because if I get up here and I'm selling stuff and you guys are like, oh, you don't have any of this, I'm like, because you didn't tell me you wanted it. So uh, let me know some titles and some characters that you guys are after, and I'll do my best to find those for you. $35 for everything on the board. I'm going to go one time. I'm going to lower it. I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to. I'll lower it to 30 bucks for everything on the board. $30 everything on the board. I'd like to finish with a sale, but I can't always do that. Sometimes you have a Patriots season where you go 18-1. and one. Jason Ross is 2-1. Metal times and preludes. George, I'll do what I can, but... Uh, I don't want you to feel too disappointed. Those preludes are probably not going to happen. Some tie-ins, I'll see what I can do. The casting and the forge, man, those are hard to come by now. But I'm going to pull the board, and I'm going to put this up. Uh, v, I, H, and G for $5 a piece to Mario. Okay. <laughs> v, I, H, and G. Yep. V, H, I, and how much is that? $5 a piece? Uh, yeah, and B. You get it? Good job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Mario. Thanks, Mario. I just put this one out. This is 10 different Walking Dead.
That's true. Ten different Walking Dead, no duplicates. Thirty-five bucks. No matter how you cut it, that's a good deal because it's just barely above uh, cover price, average of three dollars, and they go back to like issues in the one forties, maybe even some of the one thirties. Ten of them for thirty-five. All right, man. I guess I'm going to call it a night, head home. We're going to do the 6 o'clock show. you got some new help coming in. I think Amy's coming in to learn it all. Jason's going to have some fun run the sale from 6 to uh, 11. You guys should uh, let them know what it is you want them to uh, be pulling. I'm getting ready to take off. we got that one, one little offering up there right now, 10 different Walking Dead for uh, 10 different Walking Dead for $35. That one's right here. You want the 10 Walking Dead for 35? That's 10 different Walking Dead for 35. Nothing in the 170s. They span mostly 50s, 40s, and maybe one or two in the 30s. Uh, I forgot. I mean 130s, not 30s. Uh, but it's a good deal for uh, a new collector. They're all near mint. They've all been bagged and boarded since the day they came in. None of them are red or beat up or damaged or anything. Jason's going to be back this afternoon or this evening with some stuff. He's got a lot of cool stuff to put out here. Uh, I got a big pile of Ty Dog books I was going to put out, but we kind of got sidetracked and stuff. You know, whatever. We had a good time hanging out. I see there's only six of you, so I'm going to let Jason sign us off. And I appreciate y'all. Be back at six.